The Swedish Association for Hunting and Wildlife Management has a long history in conservation. It actually started up as a conservation organization rather than a hunting organization and has been involved in different conservation projects ever since. Östermalma, as the headquarter of the Swedish Association for Hunting and Wildlife Management, was the place where the project started, where it was uh, developed. The founder of the project is called Lambak van Essen, and he worked here at Östermalma. And he was the one that noticed the steep decline of the species. And he used his knowledge and he arranged an action plan to save the species. And if Lambak wouldn't have acted, uh, neither Sweden nor the European Union would have had a breeding population of this species today. So he saved the species, yeah. The biggest role as the Malma plays today in the project is that it facilitates one of the breeding stations within the project. One of the uh, actions that we take for the lesser white fronted goose today is that we release farm bred uh, lesser white fronted goose into the wild, in, into the mountains. The most challenging aspect of this project is working with such a small population. Even if we do everything right to save the species, just by chance, one single coincidence will have a huge impact on the whole population, maybe lead to extinction. So the su success of the project is actually to reach a level where we can close down the project itself. So that is when the birds are self-sustaining, they produce enough youngs, the adults are surviving well during uh, the years. And when we find a point uh, where the population is self-going, uh, that is the, the end of the project and the, yeah, the success story. It's such a beautiful, wonderful species that we should be so proud of, but hardly no one knows about it. So yeah, I th really think we need help to spread the word about this bird.